Kids, how are you? It's been a while, hasn't it? Hey, cheers everybody, happy Saturday evening. Um, I've been absent for quite a while, been traveling, been gigging. Got a couple more gigs coming up, but uh, uh, slowly and surely I'm going to go back into the groove and you guys can expect the show every Saturday night. Um, I hope you're doing well. Cheers, first of all. I hope you had a good summer. Mm. Not that it's really over here in California. I mean, it's still hot as, as hell. <clears throat> but um, while everybody gets here, let me, let me start with a little jam from the new album to warm up and then um, well, we'll talk about it when I get uh, after this song so uh, of course I gotta first switch over here so everything works first show is always scary trust me this should work there we go
<laughs> you keep me up. Opening track from the current new album, Feeling Good. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, feeling good to see you guys uh, tuning in again. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys uh, following the show and feel free to share, of course, and all the good stuff. Um, I had a couple requests I want to honor. Uh, Scott wanted to hear Celebration. I think Scott, this is, he said it's his favorite song of the new album. And um, I kind of like interested in who likes what song. So if you guys want to comment what your favorite track is of the new album, I'd be interested in to know, uh, especially since we're going to go into a new single pretty soon. So I kind of would uh, uh, um, appreciate your guys' feedback. Even though this this is, I leave this up to the record label, just to be fair. Um, usually it's kind of like they need to promote the song, so I let them make the decision. I just, uh, I like all of them and whatever they put up is fine with me. But I'll be interested to hear what you guys uh, think. What should be the next single after that's the way the world did very well. Uh, we didn't get all the stations at the same time, otherwise we would have been number one. But we made, I think, top position was number three in, in the Billboard chart. And we're still up there somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. Um, but I'm happy with how it did. And we're going to come up with another single probably in a few weeks uh, before our next show. It's Bagatini. So um, keep posted for that. Anyways, here is Celebration from the new record. Uh, Scott, this one goes out to you. And... Uh, here we go.
So this camera is a little bit too far off to the left. See, I got to, the first show is always scary because I got to readjust everything again. I took part of the equipment with me, uh, like this, uh, my main camera, and just to get everything set up and, and settled into where it's supposed to be for the show <laughs> can be a nightmare. I hope I'm not forgetting. So far, we're doing good. I had way more bloopers in, in, in earlier episodes, as you guys uh, probably remember. Um, so anyways, but I wanted to tell you, I do have uh, shows coming up. I will point that out. So the next one is actually this coming weekend. I'm doing my Neil Smoochers concert series. My guest is Brian Simpson. Uh, that's in Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, and it's this coming Saturday. And then the Sunday day after that, I will be in Torrance with Heidi Tan. Uh, she put together a nice little show with four different artists, Michael Gavin, Joe Levy, herself and myself, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And then the big one, of course, in September is going to be Spaghettini with my band, where we're going to play a lot of music from the new album, the first time for my Spaghettini audience, and the first time for us to play some of these songs uh as as in the full band as we recorded them so it's going to be a lot of fun this is going to be on a sunday we usually play the saturdays this way this year they gave me a sunday but it's early at 6 30 so i promise you guys get home in time um it won't be too late of course we're always having fun there so it's going to be rowdy anyways um but um oh yeah um and uh what else do I have? Cheryl had a couple of requests. I'm going to get into those. But before I get that, as one more song I came across was a person, I forgot who it was. Somebody asked me about it. And I had to listen back, and it was, uh, it was a really funky track from the Up Close and Personal album that I haven't played in, in a long time. And we're going to do that this next Saturday because it's, it's, it's really like a funky hump. This one is called 60029. Check it out. <laughs> Six oh ten tonight. 
so ten to nine. <laughs> oh God, it was a jam. We recorded that in 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 Ricky Lawson's studio, and uh, I remember uh, when when he when he sat on the drums and he did this. Uh, he had like a foot on every, every you know, boom, 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 boom. I thought, what the hell is he doing? This is a total mess. And then when I heard it with the track, it's just, oh my God, that thing is really jumping out of the speakers. So that was, that was a fun session. I remember Mr. Man, Mr. Man. Um, Ricky was just uh, one of a kind. But as I promised, um, I have a couple of tracks that Cheryl... Uh, requested and she's challenging me there's there's some deep cuts from the what the funk cd um that i haven't played in forever and this one one track i had to basically make a tv track make a backing track because i didn't have one for it so that's why sometimes i i started working on this show for the night uh, at noon today so it takes me five six hours to get everything together especially when when I've been away for so long, making sure everything is hooked up right and back in place and then adding new songs and, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, but uh, yeah, I totally, I, I forgot, I, I did, I would have not known what song this, uh, what album this song is from, but it's from What The Funk. It's called Shine Your Light or Shine Your Light On Me. So let me play that. I hope I now remember the melody because I had really to relearn it today. <laughs> it comes to me when, when I hear the track. Cheryl, this one goes to you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dog. Yeah, it's, it's a really it's it's a really smooth little nice little track. It's one of those deep cuts of an album, and uh, thank you so much for for requesting it. I have literally not played that song uh, since a decade and a half ago, I guess. <laughs> So uh, uh, bring it back to my memory. And there's another one she wanted to hear. Now that that track is uh, is a little bit more rowdy. Um, it's called Detroit Strut, and that uh, I think I had Simon Phillips on drums, who is an incredible drummer on that track. Um, really cool little thing, uh, based on like a really funky guitar riff. Um, I was trying, I would have actually had to adjust, get a different guitar sound for that, but I'm going to play it with this sound. Um, I just didn't have time to, 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 to get all this stuff together and learn the song and put it in the session and all that kind of stuff. So, um, but uh, we'll get through this. This is called Detroit Stuff. also goes out to Cheryl. And uh, yeah, it's a fun track, check it out. Thank you. 
man, it's a gem, it's a gem. <laughs> yeah, this one is called Dietrich Strip, all from the um, What The Funk album. There was a lot of interesting stuff on that record. Uh, definitely looking back over, uh, what is 13 albums now? I think What The Funk was one of, definitely one of my better albums. Um, you know, the big hits you heard, the, the um, um, Jumpstart was the most played song. Um, it's the longest played number one that I had. It was longer number one than Pacific Coast Highway. It's just by that time uh, there were only half the radio stations, so it didn't get as much airplay in longer weeks than, I think it was 11 weeks number one, and Pacific Coast Highway was seven weeks number one. So, um, it was just a big, huge summer hit and uh, didn't want to go away, thank God. <laughs> uh, talking about hit songs, I have one more track for you I want to close off with tonight. So again, please, uh, please come back. Um, I'll be back in two weeks since next weekend. I do have gigs uh, again. Uh, um, Neil's concert series is next Saturday in Rancho Cucamonga. Um, and the, on Sunday I'm in Torrance with Heidi Tan on her show. Uh, you find ticket links at nilsmusic.com. Uh, and uh, then uh, and then please mark down the calendar for September 22nd, our Spagatini show. That's going to be a real special one. Okay, so um, I just want to play the current single one more time, if you guys don't mind. Um, it's it's just uh, I just gotta warm myself up and to get back into the groove of things here. So this one is of course that's the way of the world. <laughs>
guys. So anyways, it's a lot of fun to be back here playing for you guys. Um, um, if you have any questions, I hang out a couple more minutes. I got a couple more minutes here. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, we, got, we can have a little Q&A. Again, um, feel free to share the show. Um, check the website for upcoming gigs. That's nailsmusic.com slash tour. You see all my current tour dates. Um, and uh, then please uh, tell some friends about it. Come back in two weeks. So the next week is one more time that I'm going to skip since I'm playing Saturday and Sunday. But then it should be more regularly. Uh, we have um, pretty clear sailing. Or I have a bunch of Saturdays coming up. So after next week, it's going to be a whole bunch in a row. We get back into a groove. If you have any um, request, you can email me at nils at nilsmusic.com. Sorry, I have a hiccup. A oh, little glass of wine here. Cheers, everybody. Mm. <clears throat> um, of course, were, um, Scott is asking for recording new tracks. I'm planning to, yes. But I haven't started yet. I have not been motivated to write new material. I've been working out live arrangements for the current record. But yeah, it's about the time where I start thinking. It's, I mean, it's way early. We still just started the new album. But uh, it takes a long time to write some good stuff for another album. So I should probably get into it and, and write some more stuff. But I'll wait till, till it really hits me so I get something special. Um, I would love to come Ludlow Garage again. Um, we have to talk to the promoter. Last time I was there with Johnny, I don't think we did too well. And so promoters are always very skittish once you once they book you for a show and then it's not sold out. So that's why I always say, please come and support us on these live events. Uh, they're not like festivals. Festivals are easy. There's a built-in audience, but the clubs are always, I really need you guys to show up. Um, okay, I'll be watching the University of Georgia college football game. Well, and then after that game, you can tune in here. <laughs> it should be over by then. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much. Um, I'm glad to be back. Everything's well. I was in Europe for a while, checking in on my mom, of course. And uh, she is the same. Um, she's still hanging in there, so thank God for that. And uh, I made it back um, to L.A., um, and back slowly getting back into the groove. It takes a while to get over the jet lag, and, and then I had a couple of gigs, and then I had stuff piled up that I had to do in the studio, so I'm slowly getting back. Um, do, um, am I doing a meet and greet Saturday? Uh, this Saturday, well, I'll be there, and you can meet and greet me. Um, nothing. Uh, I don't think we have a special meet and greet session planned, but uh, we will definitely. You know, I'm I'm usually not shy. I'm hanging out and be happy to hang out with you guys and and say hello. So please don't be shy and come up and say say hi. Okay. Anyways, um, I will see you guys in two weeks, or some of you this coming Saturday or Sunday if you're close to Torrance. Um, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, signing off for now. Cheers. I hope I got this. Right.